Welcome to Hand Tool Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Gear Wrench 40 piece ratcheting screwdriver set, part number 8940. 10 drivers and 10 extensions. As I mentioned, it's a 40 piece set, comes with 30 bits, a bit case, and 10 drivers and extensions. The entire set is made in Taiwan. Let's go ahead and open this up. So, right away, you can probably see it's a huge case as well. Comes with three ratcheting screwdriver handles as well, regular ratcheting screwdriver handle, stubby, and a T handle. Something I should point out is that these are all 45 tooth ratcheting screwdriver handles so that means that there's an eight degree swing arc so let's take a look and see first of all what kind of extensions it comes with so as we can see there's two flexible extensions as well both of these are 11 inch and they're intended for one four inch square and hex let me show you that's intended for one four inch hex bits so you can take any one of these bits i'll cover the bits later and you can put them in here something you also notice about these extensions is they don't have a hex shaft they don't go into the screwdriver with a hex shaft they're all square they have a square shaft and this is 11 inches it accepts one four inch hex bits looking at the 11 inch extension so this will allow you to put any kind of sockets or anything on this extension it's a flexible extension so if you need any kind of reach you can do that i'll show you later in the video how you can use this the base also uses a square shaft then we have a gear wrench part number 89007 g d so what this is it's a square to square extension so if you need to extend that you can always extend it what you can do is you can grab the square put it in grab the square now you have a much longer extension so what it pretty much allows you to do is it allows you to extend anything that uses a square shaft or square end Let's take a look at the ratcheting screwdriver handle as i mentioned it's 45 tooth eight degree swing arc any kind of extensions fit in here must have a square shaft with a ball d10 preferably see it says gear wrench right in there by default it comes closed the bit compartment comes closed to open up the bit compartment you have to line up these notches right here you have to line it up perfectly and then it should come out like this and you can dump any kind of bits or similar probably know a snap on and williams have a similar system as well so to put it back in you just put the cap back in and then misalign it doesn't go anywhere seems easier to remove than the snap-on version the handle itself appears to be two component handle you have the gear wrench ridden plastic or cut out in plastic and then you have some kind of a thermoplastic elastomer or thermoplastic rubber over mold here it's a very big handle as well as you can see for comparison here's my hand See, it's a very big handle as well, but it does allow you a lot of grip and allow you a lot of torque. It doesn't feel as uncomfortable as a snap-on handle, and the, this handle actually looks very similar to the new snap-on Instinct handles. This is the stubby ratcheting screwdriver, as you can see. This is good if you need to get into tight, in kind of tight places or anywhere where you don't need the long reach. Finally, we have the gear wrench key handle. So this is good if you really need a lot of torque. You grab it by the fingers. You can grab it and then just put your fingers in, just sort of use it sort of to pry tighten or loosen because it will give you a lot of torque so you're sort of making a pattern with your fingers that allows for an opening like this and then you can just simply tighten or loosen let's take a look at the other extensions it comes with gear wrench that's part number 311902 gr you can see it has ball detents held on both ends so what this is for is you can put one end into your ratcheting screwdriver and the other end and you can attach sockets onto it so it allows you to take any kind of square socket or square shaft sockets and attach them onto it and here we have the bit holding extension or bit adapter so this is hex to square the square goes into your ratcheting screwdriver has knurling as well and you can see there's a magnet inside smaller magnet than most ratcheting screwdrivers and these are six inches but when you actually insert them this portion takes up a good amount of space so you're actually getting less than six inches just to show you an example of what i mean so this is six inches that's what the manufacturer claims but when you actually insert let's see how much so you lose a decent portion you only have this much remaining so it's not quite six inches and finally we have the three and a half inch extensions so you have a square to x bit adapter that's for, you can use it for a stubby or you can use it for the regular ratcheting screwdriver or the t-handle doesn't matter you have the three and a half inch square to square you can use that for sockets say on the stubby or whatever you want to use it for opening this up let's take a look at the bits it comes with it comes with 30 bits as you can see you probably also noticed it's difficult to get the bits out especially the ones in the middle because they're so very close to each other the bits also came oiled as well so they do have some kind of a sticky oil residue which i don't like because it makes it a little bit difficult to wipe off and you can just use the case by taking out the bits as well you can use it for anything else something i also dislike is if you take out the bits and you put them back in sometimes they can fall out too So you really have to put them back in otherwise they fall out so even if you do manage to push the bits back in really hard they can still fall out poor design because what happens is there becomes some sort of a weak tolerance or there becomes enough play that the bits can fall out something i want to also show about the bit case is you can clip this to your belt just carry this around with you it's a very compact case but i don't like the bit compartment design this 
should have been foam or should have been maybe some kind of rubber or something else. It's just hard plastic. Bits are very good quality, but I also don't like that the bits are not security. These had been security hex and security torques that would have been much better. As I mentioned, it's a 45 tooth with an eight degree swing arc. Let's take a look and see how the ratchet sounds. Something I want to also point out is left means tighten. And right means loosen. You can see how the ratchet sounds. Now let's see how much play there is with this long shaft or extension. So as you can see, there's some kind of play because it's a removable shaft or extension. Something I want to test out is the magnetic strength on these extensions with bit holders. So let's try that out. We'll grab a bit from here and see if we can pick up any kind of screws. Before we try to pick up any kind of screws, let's see how strong the magnet is. So it's a very weak magnet. I don't hear a very audible click. It's not as strong as some of the other brands. And you can see the magnet size in here as well. So it's a smaller magnet. There seems to be some kind of a ring or something else holding it. So it's not a full size magnet. Let's see if it can pick it up. There's no magnetic retention whatsoever. Just to verify it's not a problem with the bits themselves, I swapped the bit for a wear a bit. Can't pick up the screws either. So I'm swapping to the shorter three and a half inch extension for the bit holder. Let's see if this one can pick up any kind of bits. Locked it into place. Taking the gear wrench bit. The bits themselves, you also notice they're made of S2 steel as well. So that's a very strong steel, but it's more brittle than say chrome vanadium or 6150 type steel. There's absolutely zero magnetic retention. The magnet does not allow the bits to be magnetized and it cannot pick up any kind of bits even close to the magnet. Something I want to show as well is that you can put a bit in, but nothing will happen. It will not get locked and it'll just flop around. So the bit is just loose inside. So let's take out the bit holding extension and see how much play there is. This is in the lock position. You can see how much play there is. So this is in the tighten position. Let's see how much play there is. So there's a decent amount of play. It's also because it has removable or interchangeable shaft. This is in the loosened position. And this is in the fixed position. Now let's try that with the three and a half inch bit holding extension to see if there's any difference. There is still play. So with the stubby, let's take out one of these similar bit holders. All the ratcheting screwdrivers are a 45 tooth, 8 degree swing arc, and they all operate the same way. So the 3.5 inch extension seems to have a little bit less play, but there still is play, regardless in what position it's locked in. Let's go ahead and talk about handle diameter. So I measured this handle diameter to be about 36 millimeters or so on the long ratcheting screwdriver handle. The stubby I measured to be about similar, so this was about 34 millimeters, maybe a little bit more. And on the T-handle, depending on where you, how you measure it and where you measure it, I got about 24 to 26 millimeters of handle diameter. There's not much of a handle diameter because it's intended to be used in a T, so you can get more torque. Pricing for this is typically about 54 to 56 dollars. It's not a terribly expensive set, but it does have some cons that I want to go over. Let's go ahead with the pros. You get a huge selection, nice selection of bits as well. You get some good adapters, very long extensions for bits and for sockets as well. Good lengths, so you have three inch, you have six inch, and then you have 11 inch flexible extensions then you have six inch which are not flexible and then you have three and a half inch so you have various kind of extensions so enough extensions to be able to use all three if handles at once if you want to it's a good high tooth count feels very good in the hand grips very well your hands are not really hitting the plastic for the most part anyways that's most of the pros for cons not a huge fan of the big compartment on this the big case is bad they really need to have made it out of foam or rubber or some kind of soft plastic or something that will make removing bits easy. And they also should have swapped out the regular hex for security hex. 
and done the same with Torx as well. Good selection, but they really should have worked on making the bits much easier to take out. They could have done foam or something else, or soft plastic, soft rubber, whatever. And they could have swapped out the hex for security hex and the Torx for security Torx as well. The biggest con, and this is probably the reason why I am not a fan of the set, the biggest con I found comes down to these bit holding extensions. Magnet is not strong enough, it doesn't permanently magnetize the bit. And therefore you can't pick up screws with it. I don't recommend a set simply for that one reason where you can't pick up screws with it. Otherwise, if you can disregard that overlook that it's a very good set, much cheaper than an equivalent snap-on wrenching screwdriver set. And you probably also notice that the style and handles look very similar to the snap-on as well. The snap-on being of course made in the US. This entire set being made in Taiwan. Something I want to show is that you can remove the tray. You can repurpose this. It takes up a lot of space so it's not very easily portable. It does close and latch as you can see. Overall this set does not get my recommendation simply for some of those cons. The biggest con being of course that the screws are not magnetized. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you.